America votes an election on the other side of the country could give Arizona a sneak peek of what to expect this primary season. Rachel Louise Just with her ABC 15 political team breaks down the lessons Michigan may have for Arizona. It's looking like it'll be 2020 the sequel featuring Joe Biden and Donald Spring, Trump come okay. November. But this time around, voters may not be satisfied with the same old candidates. I think what you're seeing is voters are starting to pay attention to the election. And I think more and more voters are saying no to both candidates. For both Biden and Trump, that no still looked like an easy win in Michigan Tuesday with little campaigning by either candidate, but it exposed the cracks in both parties. More of the same is Donald Trump and Joe Biden. The last remaining Trump primary opponent, Nikki Haley, getting almost 27% of the vote, showing Republicans aren't totally on the same page in a key state. That's a huge problem for Trump's election campaign. We feel completely neglected, neglected and just unseen by our government. For Biden, the uncommitted vote securing more than 13% of the Democratic results. It's a clear message, I think, to the president that he really needs to change course. That uncommitted vote seen as a victory by groups that pushed for it, including our revolution, as a response to Biden's support for Israel's invasion of Gaza. 100,000 votes in Michigan in a battleground state are nothing to sneeze at. Compared to Tuesday's results to 2020's general election. Biden only won Arizona by 0.3% in 2020, a tiny margin and a matter of only 10,457 votes. While Biden's margin of victory in Michigan was much larger in 2020, 154,000 votes, it was narrow enough in both swing states that neither candidate can be sure of their victory. Neither candidate can afford to lose any voters. Arizona and Michigan picked the same winners in 2016 and in 2020, and the candidate both states chose won the presidency both years. Haley hasn't indicated she plans to drop out by Arizona's primary on March 19th. And Our Revolution telling ABC 15 it's considering its options for how it could extend its campaign into Arizona, which doesn't have an uncommitted option on its ballot. Continue ringing this bell until we see some change. Protest vote supporters say they don't want Trump to win in November, but they feel they need Needed to send a message during the primary. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Rachel Louise Just.